Hello friends, <laughs> welcome back. I thought I would do a video today. It's not going to be a complete Christmas decoration video. I think sometimes it's a little unrealistic to just jump straight to, ta-da, the whole house is decorated and there was no effort and you didn't have to see any of the background stuff that has to happen to make it happen, but I'm not that way. I'm generally not that way. And I'm not that way in life. I have to get that whole shelf dusted off. See, Christmas has exploded, if you didn't watch yesterday's video. And I put off doing this task yesterday because I just was tired and didn't want to do it. And then I ended up having an activity that I forgot about last night. So what we are going to do is I'm gonna kind of take almost everything down. I wasn't going to do that. I kind of started to like, rearrange some stuff like I put my plant here I like the pop of green up here so this one right here is done I like that right there it gets hard to like put Christmas decorations that entire countertop that of stuff here let me show you really quick in case you missed it yesterday this entire countertop of stuff most likely needs to go here I do have two more buckets of stuff I think one of them is the linens so it'll be like the stockings and my tree skirt and like the table runner, that kind of stuff. And then I don't know what's in the other box. I'm kind of worried <laughs> that it's gonna be more stuff that needs to go onto this shelf. And then I do use some of my ornaments to decorate the shelf and like my little, my little, what do you call it? Like the table thingy. I don't know, I can't come up with a word with it right now. But I'm gonna kind of take you through the process and it's not going to be consistent. It's already one o'clock on technically a school day. Yeah, it's one o'clock on a school day and my kids are home, it's Veterans Day. So they're all home from school, they're all out hanging out with friends and whatnot. So it's not even a normal day for me to hang out and do this. And so I'm gonna have to stop if they come home or need a meal or I have to clean up or I have laundry that's sitting on the counter. So I'm just gonna take you through whatever my process is today and if I don't finish, totally fine. It's totally fine because this is my reality and eventually we'll get it all done and we'll have the house decorated and I'll give you a little tour. But today, I'm just gonna take you along on what I do to get the house ready for holidays. And this is the first step. Time of the year, no, you got people falling in love. It brings you good cheer, no, when that mistletoe is above. Can you sign no driving the sleigh? Or was it the Grinch and he got away? Kevin's alone, not acting afraid. Never get a white Christmas, but today. All right. That really only took me a few minutes, so that's nice. I've got everything kind of dusted off. There are certain things that will stay. This box here doesn't really need, necessarily need to be decorated with, and I don't do much with it outside of adding my chapbooks to it. In case you don't know, these are all chapbooks. I haven't actually gotten a new one for a long time because I don't <laughs> do my Instagram account very much, but it doesn't do much. And same with this shelf down here on the bottom because our Christmas tree takes up this whole corner right here. This corner of the shelf kind of gets blocked. I do a few things on these two shelves, but it's mainly like on these sides right here. And then this one is visible from the top. Mainly these two ends and those two shelves that get decorated. So you can see I have a house obsession. <laughs> and then these are actually a lot of my Christmas trees that I decorate with and they just stay up year round. And then I took off all the picture frames. They will go back up. It's just easier to have them off when I kind of start. And then that shelf there will just get some stuff added to it. Some reds, pops of green or something. You can see my little deer head. <laughs> it stays all year round because it's white and it kind of fits. I also have some tree rounds that I had stuck up there just because I didn't have room to store them and they decorate well for the holidays. Sometimes I actually move them up to this shelf because they kind of look good with my, my house scene up here. And then this is my wooden tree skirt that goes on the Christmas tree. And so it's just, I brought it in because it was in the way in the garage. I am going to vacuum. So I am literally just dusting any dirt, literal dirt from that plant 
right off of this little case. This is like the best $5 box I've ever bought at Hobby Lobby. It was like on clearance and that comes in quite handy. I don't use it for like storing anything in, but it's a good little prop up bucket. But I'm gonna finish dusting and then I'm probably going to go ahead and vacuum everything. Well, I can't really vacuum right here because all the houses are on the floor. I might actually just start to decorate. This is the process, you guys. And sometimes when I stall out and I kind of lose like a creativity streak and don't know like where to go with it, I stop and I'll watch a movie. I'll get a Christmas movie on or something and kind of get some new inspiration on how to decorate. Probably will take my XO's down. That was Valentine's Day that just stayed up throughout the year, but it can come down. I'll pack that away. I have a few things that I'm taking out like this. And then I've already taken down my little wood trucks that were over here on the corner in my kitchen. And while we're at it, because I'm done with that, I'm done dusting that table. So we can come ahead and come here and pull this guy. I, I want to save these. I've got to figure out a place that I can put them and store them. I threw my other set away but I really love this one. I would really like to try and save it, but I'm gonna take these guys out. See, but like this, I don't know, I'm just gonna take them out. Then this guy here, you wanna see something funny? Has been out all year long, but guess what? It's a Christmas decoration, <laughs> and I just turn it to the backward side. So now I can turn him around, and he can now be a Christmas. <laughs> Pretty easy. So I'm gonna take him off of this table runner here. This is my process, you guys. This is what I do. Kind of giving you a real life glimpse here. So this guy comes off and he goes into the wash. And eventually I will get down that other bucket that has my linens in it. And I will get my actual Christmas. See, look. Ashley couldn't find pants. And so she put all of my laundry on top of the wash washer and I'm like I wasn't ready to fold that and put it away but now it's right there ready for me to deal with I'm going to wipe the table down snowflakes falling down it's Christmas time but you're not here right now to put up the lights okay that's done I start to move some of this stuff where it belongs, put it here, because it's kind of cute. I'll just place that there with the regular soap that's green already. And then I can put these two down below. I don't know, like it's hard to like start this process. So let me think for a minute. This is where it's like, I don't want to rush. So oh, hang on. Here's my problem. Now Abby has come down and she says she wants to make cookies, but I need to get the flour into that bucket because that was brought in from doing our haul the other day. I want to decorate this corner, but I also want to decorate that corner. And I've had it in my head to rearrange the pantry and these cupboards to move that into a cupboard. And then my friend gave me the idea to donate my cookbooks. And that would literally clear up the shelf for my spices. So I'm tempted really quick to go through my cookbooks and donate a whole bunch of them and clear up some room here. And I know this is what happens. This is Pandora's box, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I think I've cut it more than half. Well, my main cookbook, the Betty Crocker one back there, takes up a lot of room. I'm not gonna dive into this stuff up here. I'm not. That's kind of overwhelming. Maybe I'll pick a few pieces out like that that I don't need, but I think I'm just gonna leave those two alone and just kind of focus on this and get this cleaned out because I think this will fit in there and then it's just done. I'm sweating buckets. <laughs> we got this whole thing cleaned out and I was like half an inch too short for this. So I had to get this shelf out, but that was not as easy as it seems. But <laughs> Abby helped me. So now we've got the spice rack in here, and then I have an idea 
for a lot of these little trinkets that I have. Salt and pepper shakers make for the de best easy decorations, especially if you're not going to decorate a ton for that holiday. And then I have trinkets from the kids art projects at school. I have an idea to keep all of that like in a little basket right here and then I can take it out if I need to get to the spices and then all the cookbooks are gonna go on the left side over here then I had to clean out that middle shelf so I might as well like declutter the top shelf <laughs> Pandora's box people but we're on a mission she's already starting to preheat the oven she's gonna make some of these kisses peanut butter cookies and that will be a great reward after my lunch <laughs> after doing all this but I gotta hurry and clean this up because that cleaned up that whole space there. I'm not gonna do it today, but that gives me a hot cocoa bar. I didn't want the hot cocoa bar on this side because it's too hard for like people to get into. And I just wanna create it so that the teenagers and the younger kids um, can come and get hot cocoa and our kids um, whenever they want. So I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna hurry and put this back together. It has nothing to do with Christmas. I just needed to create spaces to decorate for Christmas. I've had this in my head and actually putting it here solves so many of my problems. I'll be right back. Look at that, so much better. And I was able to find room up here. I took the flowers out of the vase and laid them down and then put the vase up there. So all of my like decorating and platters and trays and stuff, they're all up here. That's a fake cake, by the way. I have a tutorial on that. So these are the only cookbooks I wanted to keep and I actually just put a little glass vase right here as kind of a bookend along with this little candle. They kind of slide in there perfectly to kind of keep the books up, especially if like I take one and take it away. This big um, Better Homes cookbook keeps them kind of upright. And then I put all my little trinkets in this little basket so I can move it if I need to get my spices out or whatever. I think it fits in here perfectly, so I think I'll just leave that one in there. That worked out quite well, and now I have the, Abby, <laughs> it's okay. I have the ability to decorate this, and actually I would probably take this out I didn't think about this. Swap this one for my red one up here and do something red, right? And then I'll probably switch out this candle. Uh, we have cookies. See, this is how we do things. Multi-purpose. These look good and Abby just got her chocolate um, Hershey Kisses all unwrapped. All right, see, we're just kind of Go into the flow today and put that up there and then I can decorate this one. I just cleaned this one off so I don't need to dust that one off but I can put that one on there. This is all ready to decorate for Christmas. I don't know what I'm going to put here. Those look so good. And we can leave the oven on. Do you have more cookies to cook? They're in. Oh they're in? I'm hungry. So before I dive into those cookies I'm going to go see if I have a pizza in the freezer. I know, bad choice. But I'm starving and I don't want to take time to cook right now. All right, we got a Papa Murphy pizza that we had in the freezer. They had a deal that if you bought two pizzas, then you got another one for $5. We got it like, I don't even know when, before Halloween. But it's been in the freezer, obviously like tilted. <laughs> so I'm trying to get it to like thaw out just a little bit and like go flat. Abby has finished her little cookies and I'm really trying hard not to eat them. I had one tiny bite of that little chunk she didn't finish. Super good. She has one more batch in and then I can cook my pizza. And then I'm hoping after I eat lunch, I'll get another little spike. Oh, hey Kaylee, can you bring my, my water bottle down by my bed? And another pair of clean socks from my drawer, white. <laughs> That's rough. Uh, can, you, can you go do that for me? Kaylee and her boyfriend just got home. They went shopping at Target. Very domestic. And Pandora's box keeps opening. I have now cleaned out this shelf and moved all mugs to this one. I didn't show it, but I had all my Coke bottles. I don't know why I saved them all. I might actually move that one up to that shelf and get rid of that red vase up there. Otherwise, I keep all that other stuff. But I'm gonna have all the mugs right there, and then I have another idea for this shelf right here. Then I moved the cute Christmas mugs, these little camper van mugs down here to my little cup holder. So I'm just kind of cleaning this stuff out. I'm going to move some of these things up to the top um, because I kind of want to move these jars out of this drawer or like that one stays, this one stays because I have a desire to organize all of my baggies. Like how many people have a struggle? Like I keep them all in here but then like we have unused ones or used ones one time 
they can get used again and then they don't use it and then they just shove it in there and then they get a new one. It drives me nuts. So I have an idea to bring that down to this drawer here and now I have room for the jars to go here. Are you catching on to why I've been stalling on Christmas? Like this is why, because I knew this box would open and I would keep feeding through it. And I'm okay now, I'm gonna stop because I don't actually have the little holder for all the baggies. It's like 50 bucks on Amazon. So I'm still on a search for a cheaper one. I did see one on Facebook Marketplace for like $25, but it's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted like a really nice like bamboo one. And it's like an insert that goes in and it has like a, a top on it. And then it has little cutouts just like the baggy boxes do for like gallon size, sandwich, snack, that kind of thing. And then you just take the baggies out of the box and stick them into the drawer in that little compartment. I'll put it on the screen right here so you can see what I'm talking about. But that's what I want to go in that drawer and I'm just trying to like decide if I can find a cheaper one. So I think I'm going to put the lid on Pandora's box right now because I'm starving and I've done everything I can do for right now. So I'm going to eat and then I might start decorating a few areas one little bit at a time. I might turn on a Christmas movie right now so that I'm getting in a little bit more of a festive mood again and then I'll be able to decorate when I'm done eating lunch. To give you an idea, it's 2.30. I've been doing this for an hour and a half. And I have to say, I'm that's pretty productive for an hour and a half. I've cleaned out one, two, three, three cupboards and all of my shelves. And we've made cookies and now I'm putting pizza in. Not bad. Okay, it has now been about three hours. <laughs> two, three hours since I ate lunch. I've been doing all this stuff. This is all that's left. You can see I've got the rest of my counter cleaned off. I have a few more little trinkets that I haven't used quite yet. Right, Ashley? These are good little basket fillers. Um, maybe I'll put these snowmen out on my little house village. Um, I haven't decided where I want to hang my Merry Christmas sign or Happy Holidays. I think this is what this one says. It's a little banner because they have multiple colors. These are from the dollar store. Maybe you guys can put them in your room. I don't know. I haven't decided on some of this stuff. And then we've got some extra Christmas trees. These are straggler ornaments that did not get put away, so they go on the tree. This stuff came off my shelf. These are the ornament or the wrapping paper supplies and an extra plate. But again, this is good for like a basket. Um, and then this is all the fall decor that I had pulled out. All right, I'm just going to show you some of the progress. This is not a final set and done table thing. What are you doing? Taking this tag off. Oh, yeah, go get the tag off. You know, I'm just kind of playing around. These are not finalized. Then this tray here is not done either. I've kind of just put things on here that I know I'm going to want to decorate with. Look how good that black tree looks with this candle. Like, look at that. That looks so cool. And even with like the black echo, it kind of just looks really good in here. And then this will be my hot cocoa bar. It's obviously not done. This is just kind of the stuff that's gonna go on it, but I need another tray like I have in the other corner or like a box or something like that. I gotta find it. But this is kind of the stuff that's gonna be in there. And then I'm gonna have a cup of um, some marshmallows. These are the cocoa bombs that I got. I'll tell you about that later. Um, and then I have these little mugs that I got from Home Goods and candle this is probably from the dollar store keep these i never light these ones especially when there's a decoration for that holiday i tend to just leave them alone and then i can use them as a little piece staging then this is new i got these at the dollar store they're just little snack plates but i wanted to have some fun holiday plates for our christmas eve christmas day dinners um, and then i'm going to use chargers so I wanted to have like a little dessert plate or a salad plate and then a regular dinner plate and then the charger and then we'll get like holiday napkins and whatnot for the table. I wanted to have a nice dinner but I'm still kind of a whimsical decorator and whatever so I just got these from the dollar store and I think, I, I mean I don't mind the gold but it doesn't really go with kind of that rustic farmhouse feel. So I've been on a hunt for the wooden ones at the dollar store, but I think I might have to order them online and I might have to order 12 of them <laughs> because you can only order 12 at a time of anything on the website. All right, here's a little sneak peek. It is obviously not done. So let me kind of take you around and show you what we've done. But we've gotten a lot of this stuff put back up. Ashley, will you pick up the two snow globes and the box and take it back into the kitchen? 
All right, so I'll show you this little house display that I have here. Not much is gonna change with this. I really like the look of this, except that I have some glitter snow, fake snow that I'm gonna put down, but I'm just not gonna do it yet. One, because I haven't vacuumed yet, and two, because I'm not ready for that kind of a mess yet, and I haven't fully decided if I'm gonna arrange it this way, and it's harder to arrange it when the glitter is there. But look at this cute house. I know a lot of you are wondering what house I ended up getting and using from the Target dollar spot. I found the wooden one, and you guys, I mean, this is why I knew I needed to get the wooden one. It is so cute. So for right now, I have all these little advent houses in there, um, just because we haven't gotten to December yet. But as soon as we get to December, I'm gonna take them all out and put them in a little basket or something here on the counter, and then we'll be able to place them one at a time. I also am glad that I went ahead and staged it, because if you look down in here, the number 25 doesn't exactly fit on the bottom row. So now I know I need to reverse it and do like one, two, three, four on the bottom or five and then go up and then 25 will be able to stand tall on the top one. But that is how that, oh, actually, can you, I've got to put these back. But they're easy to like move and be able to get to the houses and make the advent calendar there. So I love how this turned out. I'll go through this in more detail on the final, like how I decorated video. I just wanted to get you like a little sneak peek. And I also haven't finished up here. I have a bucket that has all my nativity scenes in it. <laughs> and that's what goes here full center. Um, I just haven't been able to reach it. And so Jason will have to get it down tonight and I'll decorate tomorrow. So this is not fully done, but I do love how it turned out. I've done a lot of things differently. But one of the extra little things from the dollar spot that I got that I'll show you, those little black trees. I mean, they're just so kind of classy and kind of added a different like pop to the scene. All right, so because it's now dinner time and actually a school night, I need to put this all on hold. <laughs> so you guys really got a true glimpse of, oh, it is really shiny right here. <laughs> Like shiny head um, you got a really true glimpse of a behind the scenes and like all the stuff that keeps building and happening as you kind of rearrange things and have to clean and dust and move them around or whatever you guys kind of got a really good glimpse of that so I'm gonna end this video here I've got a little squirt to deal with right here I wonder why we keep breaking fingers and <laughs> just like upside down on the stairs and I still have a mess but it's okay I'm gonna slowly work on all these other little areas I also I didn't show you the mantle right here I did put one other sign on there that I'm going to finish a little project with so I will that's why it, it's not all finalized and done you'll have to stay tuned for the final reveal of how I fully decorated in a, in a couple videos I'm not gonna promise when that's actually gonna be finalized so stay tuned oh the mantle I was gonna tell you I'm gonna do a garland. But in order for the garland to last until Christmas, I do need to wait for that for a couple weeks because it will hit that fireplace heat really hard. <laughs> they, If you touch the garland when it's been heated up like that for a couple weeks, it just ooh, crumbles to the floor. So I'm gonna hold off on doing the garland for a couple weeks, probably even like the week after Thanksgiving, and then I'll put it up. So that's why we're gonna have to stay tuned for the future How I Decorated video. I appreciate you guys joining me today. We will see you guys next time. And don't come after me for decorating before ho the site. And don't come after me for decorating before Christmas. And don't come after me for decorating before Christmas. Oh, I keep getting it wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to end this video. Don't come after me for decorating before Thanksgiving. It is a thing. I need to decorate. I love it makes for a festive house as we go into the holidays. I don't think it's fair to only have like three and a half weeks for Christmas decorating. Cause that's all we get if you don't decorate it until December and then you're really like decorating that first full week in December after Thanksgiving and so you only get like two and a half weeks. So I do it now and I enjoy it and I have fun. Anyway, take care and happy holidays. Mm -hmm.